Hello everyone, this is Mundan Rakhavan and today we are going to see how to make our LLM to understand our local source or local source of data before answering any questions. For that we need to do the different steps. Today we are going to discuss those steps and we will try to understand the theory part and then we will try to see the code. The first one would be the source. Here source could be your local PDF files, CSV files, text files, markdown files, HTML files, it can be anything. Even you can give the your entire folder, which contains your all source. Then this source will be loaded into the program. Since it has so much of text data, it will be splitted. After having the small splits, it will be embedded. Embedded in the sense it will be converted into the numerical representation, which will be called as a vector. Then these vectors will be saved into the store, which can be also called as a vector database. Same like other databases, you will be having the search content, you will be just querying the store and you will be getting the answers. So far, whatever we have discussed, we have not included LLM in this. If you include LLM, how it looks like? Basically, we can see in other way also, you have the documents and you have the splitting part, then you are storing into the storage, which is the vector store. Then you will be giving the query. Now, even your query will be embedded because it also has to be converted into the embeddings, which will be in the numerical representation. Then this will be given to the storage and this storage will give the relevant documents for your query. Again, these documents could be more based on your query. Now you are giving the query or question and you are giving relevant documents apart from all the documents. Now this query and this context will be given to the output which is the LLM. This LLM will be having your query and your local documents, which are required only for your query. This will be retrieved based on the retrieval process. Now this LLM will try to generate the proper answer for you. Looks very simple. Let's go into further understanding. Before to that, we will try to see what are the different types of locators. It can be CSV, file directory, HTML, JSON, PDF, markdown, and text that we discussed. Now let's go into the final terms. Embeddings. So embeddings, as we discussed, these are the vectors of arrays, which will be represent your text. And vector database, obviously, you will be saving all the vectors, which is embeddings here to the database. And we have seen the chunk size and chunk overlap. Basically, chunk size means how much maximum size that every split has to have. And overlap, it is just like a chaining part because if you split it into the multiple places, then you will not be knowing which is the starting and end ending and the second one. So for that, you will be having some part will be continuously in the previous part and the starting of the second part also. Those will be called, those overlaps will be called as a chunk overlap. This will make sure that your document is not too much splitted and not connected to each other. Now further thing, let's go to here and we will see ChromaDB. This is one of the example of the embedding database or vector database. Now we will go to the coding part. Now totally we have seen, we will be having the source, we will be loading that and we will be transforming and embedding and putting into the store. This store like a database, you can retrieve anytime. But in case of, if you want to do retrieval, you need to give the query. Then your query and relevant documents will be given. The same way we are going to use the open API key. Let's okay. And our text is sample text. What is sample text? Let's open and see. This is some a story about the adventures of Aladdin. Let's load everything. Here you can see the entire story. However, you might be knowing about the Aladdin story. So just I'm going to the demo and source text. This will be the source text and I am loading that. When you try to load it, there are different loaders as you see here. Langchain.document loaders, I'm using the text loader. It can be CSV loader, it can be the HTML loader. There are a lot of loaders. For just our demo, I'm going to use the text file. It has loaded that, then I'm just having all the documents. Now, now we have the documents, but this has been the actual raw documents. As we discussed in the diagram, we need to split that, right? So just to split that, we need to have the splitter. So character text splitter, and we are telling how much chunk size. That means that 200 characters can be inside in one chunk size. 
like that we have the chunk overlap also so we can have the better connectivity between the chunks by default you can give the zero also that's fine now go to the text now we are getting the text splitter and we are splitting the documents whichever we loaded already now we have loaded loading part is done and transformation also done now as we discussed this text or this text chunks cannot be loaded directly we need to create the embeddings so to create the embeddings we need to create the embeddings object there are a lot of embeddings available but we are going to use the open ai embeddings which obviously convert your text into the a numerical representation now let's go into the storing part as we seen a sample example chroma db is the free db available for the vector database so for that we are going to use the chroma as you see here so there will be a vector stores langchain vector stores chroma now we are loading the chroma from documents so documents will be the text chunks and the embeddings so that means that using this embeddings object your all text will be converted into the embeddings or vector format and that will be just loaded into the chroma which will be saved into the db now db has the all the documents which is in embedding format now we are going to the last part which is the retriever you need to create the retriever object and you need to give the as retriever search keyword arguments which means that whenever you are giving some string to search it will be giving the relevant documents but how many documents do you want that can be mentioned inside your search keyword arguments basically if i ask question like who is aladdin it will be giving two documents to me so that's where this retriever comes into picture now how to get the relevant documents retriever dot get relevant documents then the question this will be doing the similarity search but however we need this only retriever object we need to give into the next stage now we are going to the final part which is the retrieval and using the llm retrieval qa is the class that you can see retrieval qa which is from the chains one of the chains but this chain is going in a different way which means that you will be giving the llm obviously at the end you are going to ask the open ai or any of the llm then the chain chain is nothing but whatever the documents you have those documents will be stuffed into that there are different types of chains for example let's go into here the chain will be like your question and all the relevant documents will be stuffed directly like a total document list so that's called the stuffing the documents this will be the one of the type of chain inside your retrieval qa like that there will be a refine which will be looping into each and every time you will be getting the answer for each and every relevant document then you will be just having the refining part however it's very simple format would be the stuff that means that you have the question and what are the relevant documents all the documents will be given as a context by considering all the documents then it will be giving the output to you from the model now going back to the code here you are giving the llm you are giving the chain stuff that means that here you are mentioning two documents all the two documents will be given to your llm then retriever this retriever will be responsible to get all the information from your documents which is already in the db right so now we have the retriever we have the chain we have the open ai now once you have this qa retrieval or retrieval qa you will be running the query then what happens from this moment we should be very careful you ask the question this question will be given to the the same diagram that you see here this question will be given to your vector store and it will be having the similarity search which means that for your query there will be a relevant documents the documents will be taken and your query also will be converted into the embeddings to search into the vector store once you have the query and relevant documents that is being given to the open ai and you will be getting the response the same happens here so after getting the response you will be printing here let's execute and see the output so this is the sample documents that you are getting here you can see this is the page content and this is the document 1 and this is the document 2 now let's go into the end and here can see the output actual output you ask about who is aladdin it is telling like aladdin is a poor young boy who meets a mysterious stranger and finds a magic lamp with a genie inside with this magic lamp aladdin is able to marry the sultan's daughter and the genie grants him any wishes he wants a simple answer would be 
right? So basically it is a very simple example, but we need to understand about the process again, which is your source, you are loading, and after loading, you are just splitting into the different text chunks, then that is converted into the embedding, then those embeddings will be stored into the vector database. Then you can retrieve at any time based on the similarity search. However, in include the LLM, you will be having your query also will be converted into the embedding so that embedding to embedding comparison will be easily done. Then for your query, the relevant documents will be taken out and this query and this question will be given to the OpenAI. Now OpenAI has the question and relevant context. Then this will give the output for you. This is a simple example. So in nutshell, we have seen how to just use our local source to make the LLM answer for our questions. So this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud.